Um, what is one of the ones I get frequently asked about? I'm losing my mind. Is it about the menu system? And um, of course, I can't normally show the menu system because um, I've got you know stuff. So that's a good question, Fridge. Excellent. Um, yes, because I've got stuff which I can't show. However, what I've just done is I've logged into an account which has got nothing but plain TS 2015 Steam Edition, which I freshly reinstalled just before the stream, because you know 150 meg broadband for the win. Um, now, um, so let me just see what we can do here. So let's switch back to the game, and what we're going to switch off. The, I'm going to change the promo text to uh, tutorial, tutorial call, um, and then I'm going to switch off the camera. Scary man's behind me. Right, so I'll switch the camera off so that we don't lock anything or lose anything. Some of this may seem obvious to some of the people here, um, and some of it might not. So I just wanted to really cover off um, how I use the menu system um, briefly before we move on to Edinburgh, Glasgow. And... Um, yes, right. So, still no thing from TAF. So when you get in touch, TAF, I'll get your prize over to you. Um, so finding stuff. Um, if we go into the drive menu, and so you start off in the quick drive. Um, I'll come back to quick drive. I'll actually do quick drive now. So if you want to pick a loco, now bear in mind that I don't have very much installed here. All I've got is a basic TS 2015 Steam Edition and um, you've got a list here. Now on my normal one I've got a list that's 38 pages long and there's no filter options here so if you want to find stuff you have to just keep paging through it. You don't have to, you can use the search facility so if I want the field 426 I just type 426 apparently nothing happens. Yeah, proving making a fool of me. Now nothing's happening at all. Right, try that again. There you go. So, I don't quite know what happened there but um, so yes, use the search facility. Um, now the search facility changes depending on what you're doing. So if I come over here to Roots and I just type Gar, then it shows up Garmish, because what it's doing is the search facility is looking in the, anywhere in the uh, in the name for it. So now I can type um, e uh, CML and it will just give me that one because it's part of ECML. So you don't have to type the whole thing. You don't have to type it from the beginning. You can just type pretty much any part that's the easiest bit for you to type to be honest so you type Peterborough because you know that it comes in Peterborough but you can't remember how borough is spelt for example just type the bit you do know um, I remember you, you only have to get it down really to nine options to make it so you don't have to look for it yeah you don't have to find it precisely just get it down to where you can easily find it so under career um, the uh, we've got some scenarios now when you're in this screen and you this is this button here says whether or not we're filtering on this particular loco filtering it means we're showing only scenarios that contain that loco and this similarly means are we only showing this particular route so down here you can see I've got all the routes visible and all the locos and everything so this is every single scenario is the default now, again you can now the first thing I would say here is that it doesn't clear the search field so always press the X key there just to reset it. If this field, uh, search field at this point is searching scenario names so for example let's just have a quick look down so there's one here called rush hour madness so let's just look for madness yeah so there you go rush hour madness has come up and it's changed these accordingly but we're not filtered on them yet which is fine now I want to find a different scenario so let's go down to Vermont so uh, let's just type ver so here we go, these are all the ones that have got ver in them, I'm not quite sure what these bottom two are, but never mind. So we've got three here, um, and now I can see Vermont to Stanford, which is the one I was thinking of playing, and it's right here. So, um, if you now want to filter, then you can click on the loco, and you can change the loco. Now, when you've clicked on the loco and you have this list, the search field is now filtering on the loco. So I can type 365 and it only shows me the 365. If I press the X key, it'll go back 
and I can type in 64 and it will show me the ACS 64. So now if I click on the ACS 64 we're only seeing scenarios for the ACS 64 and this tells me that we are now filtered on the ACS 64 and not on the route so it will show me any scenario on any route that contains the ACS 64 which in my case is just New York to New Haven. If we want to unfilter, or again we can, now we're in this screen again, I can now filter this down again. So here we're back searching for scenario names, so I can type Vermont in, and it will only show me those ones that have got Vermont in them. Uh, or if I do that and I change it for Stanford, there you go, so now these are all the ones that have got Stanford in them. So if I now click that button it will undo the filter and we're back to showing everything again. Um, so, standard works basically the same way. Free roam, which I don't have any at the moment, work basically the same way. Now, the key one thing to remember is as you move between these tabs, this is not getting cleared. So make sure you clear that, otherwise it gets quite confusing because you'll see something in the search and actually it's not based on that search. So, um, so Mega Steve has said, can you drive a train in any scene, or is it only the train assigned to that route? It, when you're driving a scenario, you're driving the train that is set in that scenario. You can't change that easily. You can, but it's not easy. You need to basically edit the scenario. Um, if you want to drive any train on any route, you need quick drive. And that way, for example, at the moment I'm set to the ice tea on London to Peterborough, because that happens. Um, or I can switch over and have the BR426, and we'll have it on New York to New Haven. There you go, New Rochelle to New York Penn because yeah, that happens too. Um, so you can pick any combination you like in Quick Drive as long as it makes sense power wise. So as long as you've got a, a loco that's third rail or, for, or overhead powered and then it has the appropriate track. So that's the basics of finding a scenario here. Now one of the things that people get confused about is getting a workshop scenario. So to get workshop scenarios you go into the profile screen Again, I've done very little with this account, so this screen is all blank. Uh, and similarly, these screens haven't really got an awful lot in them. Um, now, under each of these, I can click this button. Apparently, I can't click this button. Okay, I can click on the loco, and that will give me a basic overview of the loco. It'll give me an outline of the achievements that it comes with, and I can click on them to say, oh, I completed scenario that. So you can click on each, each loco, each pack, and find out what achievements are associated with it and then this tells you how many medals you've got so there are five scenarios and how many of those have you got now that's not to say you'll get um, five of those and five of those and five of those obviously you can only have five in total but that's giving you an idea of how many medals there are and this difficulty range tells you the range of difficulty um, that uh, this particular scenario has um, Right, so let's go back to profile again. We go to routes, and in routes, we can see again we've got the same sort of thing. So, again, these are the achievements for the route. Uh, and if you click quick drive, what it'll actually do is jump to the quick drive and set the route, but then you can change the loco anywhere you want. So, profile is a really good way of seeing um, a browsed view of just the stock you own, now this and the routes that you own. Now, this is basically like um, the um, the sh your shelf. So if you'd gone out in olden times and you'd got your big box of DVD cases, then consider this to be your bookshelf where all your DVD cases would be, and you could see everything that you've bought. Um, so you can say, "I just bought Munich to Garmisch Partenkirchen." Great. So having just bought that route, prior to the profile screen, you'd have gone into the drive screen, and then you'd have immediately thought. Well, how do I find the scenarios and maybe gone into standard and there's nothing in here for it and gone into career and seen a big list of stuff going on here and then you're very confused um, see how you again you need to press pressing that X key will always reset this uh, back to whatever's being filtered on um, so you could go and find stuff through here but use your profile screen because in here you'll get everything that comes up. So for example East Coast Mainline if I go Career Drive I can now see all the scenarios that come with East Coast Mainline um, that are for that particular pack. I don't quite know why the images aren't showing up there but 
I've only just set this account up and it doesn't seem to have downloaded some of the images yet. Right, so that's this. Now I'm going to go back to the Locos tab and just cover the progress. So when we click progress it flips everything over and now I can see quickly where all the medals are uh, and what I've got in the way of medals and we can flip, press progress to turn it back again. And then the same for routes. So you can quickly, if you're thinking, oh, I want to get some medals, what have I not got very much on? You can have a quick look through here and you can see, oh, actually, look, I've got 12 possible medals here. I haven't played any of them on here. I haven't won any of them. Let's, let's go and have a look and see what we can win on that scenario. So if, if you are someone who is playing for score and medals and so forth, then that is perhaps a screen that you might be interested in. Marketplace um, is just all the marketplace stuff you own. I haven't got any on here, but it looks just like this workshop so the workshop screen lists all of the stuff that you have got subscribed or if you click published this is all of the items that you have published I've not published anything so let's go back to this now when you click on an item here you know, this is a work these these are all workshop scenarios I've downloaded and it says it's fine does so required add-ons is blank when I click on this one however slight pause while it downloads stuff well obviously I'm having an internet connection problem there but what it would do is it would tell me here that I don't own one or two of the add-ons that this scenario needs um, and in that instance I would know that I can't really play it if I try and play it it's not gonna work um, but it'll know what I need to go and buy um, to in order to make it work so how do we get more scenarios? Well, before we go to getting more scenarios, let's have a quick look up here. So Sunday Surfing, and we click View. Now, what you can't see now is that Steam has just fired up. Let me just um, add a new view on here. Window capture. Capture that entire window. That doesn't work, does it? Excellent. So that's not good. Uh, let's hide that. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Everyone talk amongst yourselves. And let's try. What we might do is just a monitor capture, actually. So let's just do a monitor capture. And capture monitor one. Hopefully, that's the right monitor, or you're all going to see all the chat windows I've got open. No. <laughs> I don't have much luck here, am I? Okay, so that's no good either. No, no that isn't going to work. Alright, oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I, I had this strange feeling that it would be easier to, uh, to, to, to do this than it actually is. That's not very clever. Um, so what windows can I grab here? I can only grab that. Capture layered windows, tire window. That's not working either. Oh dear, oh dear. So why is this not working then? All right, I'm going to abandon this little bit then. So basically, that when that when I brought what that's brought up that you can't see is the uh, Steam Workshop overlay, uh, and inside there I've actually gone straight to the scene for um, for uh, for this uh, straight for the uh, Steam Workshop page for it. So um, if you click the rate button, then you can make sure you tell people whether you like scenarios or not. And I would definitely. Recognize, uh, recommend that you uh, if you played a scenario and you like it then I would definitely recommend you do this and click the rate up button so anyway coming back to the game once you have downloaded a scenario so when you click browse it pops open the um, um, the steam overlay and we're gonna have to make that the subject of a future tutorial uh, and uh, I'll once I figure out why that's not uh, sharing but once you've found it, you come back to this page and you've got a bunch of scenarios here. Now, I want to play Sunday Surfing. How do I play Sunday Surfing? There's no play button on here. What you have to do is go back to the... Now, let's remember it's called Sunday Surfing. 
go back to the main menu drive click into standard now ignore the fact this is only a little list and I can see it's right here this might be a thousand scenarios in it that I've downloaded and I just say type surf yeah and there it is yeah so if you remember the name of the scenario so Sunday I type a bit of it that's recognizable then you can find it and you can play it let's find another one go to profile some of the times the trick is just working out what is the right thing to search for so London to Peterborough off to bed engine driver so um, let's try bed uh, so we go back to drive and we go to standard and then we just type bid there you go off to bed so you can find the scenario actually very easily by just using the search facility properly and making sure you can uh, you, you give it the chance to help you so that's basically how you do that if there's any of these you're finished with click unsubscribe however that doesn't delete it from your system it just means it's gone far as Steam Workshop is going um, uh, French Stalin I tried capture desktop that didn't work either that gave you a big black screen although I think it's because Aero is enabled so I'm going to have to worry about that later um, so if you want to unsubscribe click unsubscribe uh, you will then have to go and delete it in the scenario editor in the build menu so if you go into the build menu don't worry about that error it's because I've not taken any screenshots yet and go into scenario and then we scroll down to other routes so if we go London to Peterborough you can see in here um, the scenarios that I've downloaded so here they are so off to bed and then if you just click the delete button that will delete that scenario from your system so I think we've basically covered everything that needs to be covered if you're new to the game go to the Academy uh, and you'll get all of the area the things for covering how you actually drive the various locomotives um, whether it's the controls or driving so you just pick one that you want to do so say for example the class 170 uh, and then you just click start and just treat it like a normal scenario if you have any tutorials that you've got in other add-on packs so for example look there's a load of tutorials here and these ones are specific to usually specific to pack uh, to locos um, and then you can find those in that tutorial tab up there they haven't gone away they've just moved a little bit since the previous version I think that's basically it, everything that I wanted to cover. So, uh, if there's anything else that anyone wants me to cover again in another tutorial, then uh, by all means give me a shout. But failing that, I think it's time for some Edinburgh Glasgow wonderfulness. Right, let me switch it back to changing route. And uh, shut the game down. Apologies for the silence. And now hope that I can switch it all back without breaking it. So I hope that tutorial was of some use. I realise that for some uh, some of you more advanced users, that was probably the most tedious thing you've ever had to watch in your entire life. Um,